Shelby Nelson is live near the scene now. She has more. Shelby? Yeah, guys, as you said, it was a head-on crash that ended in pure tragedy, killing a total of five people. Now, we do know that Highway 1 is now reopened after investigators, even naval police, were out here for hours. It reopened at about 2.39 this afternoon. But take a look at some of the video we have from earlier uh, moments after that crash happened. Uh, fire crews putting out flames in the early morning hours. Investigators were out here taking pictures. We even saw naval police, as I said, now at around 4:23 this morning, a call came in of a head-on collision along PCH just north of Magoo Rock. The caller saying that one of the vehicles was completely engulfed in flames. CHP, Ventura County, and Oxnard Fire Departments all arriving on scene. Officials say both vehicles were involved in that head-on crash. Here, authorities say a man in his 30s was driving a blue Subaru along PCH. Four other people were inside a 2011 Toyota SUV that was traveling southbound. At some point. One of the vehicles crossed into the opposite lane, causing that head on crash. The Toyota immediately was engulfed in flames, and unfortunately, by the time first responders got here, it was too late for the people trapped inside. Now, we reached out to naval police who were out here. We're waiting for a response, but it's also important to know, important to know that this is an area located close to the Point Magoo Naval Air Station, which is only about five minutes away. Four. And a small SUV, uh, which was the main car that caught on fire, and another um, solo fatality in a, in a uh, it was a blue so Subaru. At this point, we're not sure who was at fault, um, but the initial indications are that at least one of the vehicles was traveling wrong way when the vehicle when the collision happened. And it's unclear if speeding, alcohol, or drugs were a factor in any of this. At this hour, we still do not know the identities of the people involved in that crash as investigators work to uh, notify their families. But in the meantime, they're asking anyone with information to contact CHP. Reporting live in Point Magoo, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. All right, Shelby, thank you so much for that.